Hey guys! My apartment has been kind of a mess today because I spent the entire day cleaning New Year resetting because I've been at home. So I like cleaned out my fridge, I wiped it all down, cleaned out my makeup drawers, like everything. And then I put all of my Christmas presents away. It's looking so much better than it did before. I also had to put some makeup in here because I have so much of it. Also, I freaking finished with most of my living room decor. Look how absolutely stunning these are. You can't really see this one because of the glare, but this is a SZA, Marilyn Monroe, and Lana Del Rey poster. Makes me feel so freaking motivated for the day and it's just iconic these women are icons and I just want to be them and I thought what better way than to have iconic women up in my apartment to get me motivated set for the day ready to just conquer all my dreams and keep working towards them so that's why we have these girlies up here women not girlies right now I'm heading out the door to meet with my friend Charlotte we're gonna go have a picnic by the beach and watch the sunset I'm so excited in the new year I just want to hang out with friends more and hang out with people and get myself out there so I'm so excited about this The sunset right now is insane. With the sound of the waves and the orange sky, and we're eating food. Oh, I'm just in such a happy mood. I'm also starving, so this makes this food 10 million times better. We'll do that. Salad. Caesar, vegan, even though I'm not vegan. <laughs> Me either. I don't know what this is. It's like a rice, salmon, avocado, like sushi thing, it's but it's really good. Sushi. Yeah. Guys, this is insane. It feels like we're in Hawaii, except it's freezing cold. I just got done eating my lunch for the day and now it's time to take my vitamins. I always wait till the middle of the day after I eat my lunch because it's best to have it after a meal so that all of the pills just go into your stomach and you're getting all the nutrients that you need. But I want to talk about Care Of. What I was drawn to the most about Care Of is you're not just taking any random vitamins or pills or supplements. You go on their website or their app and you take a curated quiz to find out exactly what vitamins your body needs. When I took the quiz, they asked me about my hair type, my skin type, my daily habits and routines just to kind of see what vitamins that I would need and then at the end of my quiz they gave me a list of vitamins that I was needing and holy crap I feel like that is such a smart way to get vitamins because I feel like people can always recommend you a vitamin but you have no idea if that's what your body needs at the time there are four vitamins in the pack I will put the vitamins on the screen that I use but also the supplements I take might be different than the supplements you guys will end up taking especially in 2024 I want to start taking my supplements every single day and being consistent with it because I just want my body and my mental health to be in the best shape it's ever been in, especially in this new year we all have our new year's resolutions that we're trying to uphold to and this one was definitely one of mine and taking my vitamins and my supplements every single day is definitely on the top of my list i want my body to be healthy and happy for as long as it can be and so this is definitely something that is very important to me also another thing that stood out to me is there are little jokes or just quotes on all the packages that you take every day today it was a joke it was i have 13 hearts but no lungs or stomach what am i I still have yet to figure it out. Also, they come in these little pouches so you can throw one in your purse if you're gonna be gone all day. And it makes traveling 10 times easier because you just have to put how many days you're gonna be away into your bag. I'm feeling so excited and motivated to stay consistent with my health goals this year. So thank you so much, care of, and let's get back to the video. just had a hella good workout class oh my gosh i was shaking so hard at the end i like made eye contact with the instructor and i was like because my freaking legs were shaking so bad because oh my gosh i'm gonna be so sore the next day pilates is a killer nobody understands how like pilates is so hard it's so much worse than any workout i've ever done if you do it right with the right technique and you like do the whole thing it's like oh my gosh it's so hard and you don't even sweat that much like my armpits sweat but my face isn't even sweating but like it's so hard it's so hard to explain too but because i organized my makeup in my apartment i need to get some makeup organizers to just put in my drawer so they're not just a bunch of products flinging up and down also guys guess what i freaking was walking to my car and i saw ian gallagher from shameless i'm looking up his real name because it's kind 
kind of mean to just call him by his character's name. But I was walking and I look at him and then he makes eye contact with me and I was like, holy crap. That's Cameron Monaghan. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that last name wrong. But it was so cool. I was like, ah, I just saw my first famous person in LA public. Okay, now it's time to get some errands done for the day. When I was in Idaho, I was just saving so many freaking pictures to my Pinterest board of ways I wanted to finish decorating my apartment because I've lived there for three months now and I just want to have it like be done decorating with it and other than like little things. But overall, I just want to stop focusing on it and just enjoy my surroundings and then live life and just like post content and take my classes without worrying about my what my apartment looks like. And one of the main things is I just want to get more plants. So we are at Living Spaces. I'm going to go browse through there, see if there's any pretty plants. Plants. I really want to get real ones, mm, but my apartment doesn't really get a lot of natural set. Holy crap, I can't speak English. My apartment doesn't really get a lot of natural sunlight, and I travel a lot, so it might just be easier to have artificial plants, as sad as that is. I would just rather have fake ones than kill all real ones, you know? Oh my gosh, my next apartment, the very first thing that, that is going to be on the list is so much sunlight. I want to be drowning in it, because I feel like I'm lacking vitamin D because I don't have sunlight in my now apartment. But my next apartment, it's going to be number one on the list. I'm not going to take it if it doesn't have natural light, and we are just going to have so many plants and sun glowing through the windows. I'm so excited about it. Really just going on a tangent now, but... But we're gonna get some plants. <laughs> Isn't it so cute? I think she's perfect. We have to name her something. <gasps> what are we gonna name her? I'm feeling Luna or Jasmine. Guys, I am so happy with my new plant. I also got some cute vases to go with it. Well, I was only gonna buy one vase, but then I came in a set of three apparently, so <laughs> I got two other vases. I like scounged upstairs. I scounged downstairs. I was like, I'm gonna find the perfect plant, and I was patient, and I did, and I'm so happy with that. Oh, she's, that was a fast errand day. It looks so perfect right there with the couch. I might scoot in or up a little bit, I don't know. I just love how the place is coming together. Okay guys, I have class today. It's around 7 p.m. It's a late class, but I wanna make spaghetti for dinner, so we need to run to Whole Foods and make dinner and then get on over to our class. As most of you know, spaghetti is the only meal I know how to make. <laughs> That's good. That's like delicious actually. So that's what we're gonna make because it's delicious and I like eating delicious food. <laughs> Who doesn't? That entire grocery trip, I was listening to the song Blue Monday by New Order. I felt like a bad A walking in freaking Whole Foods. <laughs> about the spaghetti. I got it with farfalle noodles because these ones are also really good. And then these are the two sauces I got to mix together. This one, oh my gosh, I love this brand. And then we have an onion and then some ground beef. So let's get to cooking. Ignore the entire e-bike just sitting in my living room. I had a red e-bike that was from Van Powers. Amazing bike. And I put it in my apartment's bike storage. And I think I let it sit for too long or I didn't move it like often enough because it sat locked in like this bike rack for the same three months at a time. And I never moved it because I, I didn't use it. The point is, somebody stole it. It was stolen from me. But that freaking bike was awesome. When I lived in my small town, I would just take that bike and go ride it. And I would just listen to music and just feel the summer breeze. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. But today, I feel like I've had such an amazing day. Just being back and getting into routine just feels a little nice. So I just found out that my dog died. Um, just kidding. I'm just cutting onions. <laughs> Guys, I'm sorry, that was so mean. <laughs> I need to practice my acting skills, okay? Let me know if you were convinced. <laughs> 